Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cabot, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021, where last time out we took a more industrial approach to farming as we added a number of shiny new factories to our farm. So of course over here we have the four frozen food factories and they're producing an awful lot of very lovely lucrative organic frozen fish. And then just here we've got the new exciting fancy oil factory and that is making sunflower oil. And then just here we've got the vegetable processing factory and that is making carrot juice, or at least it would be if anybody were working here. Currently nobody works here so it's doing entirely nothing at all. We'll get that sorted. We'll hire some people, we'll send them to work over here, they can jab all the buttons and we shall get the carrot juice flowing. It's absolutely fun, we'll get that sorted. However, as well as having all of these fancy new industrial buildings set up, last time we did do a bit of more classic, traditional farming because we finally set up a massive field. Look at this. This field is absolutely huge. It's a ginormous field. This is the biggest a field can be in this game. It is 100 by 100 and this is our lovely field of organic sunflowers. So it's going to take 85 days for them to grow, but when they grow, they can go over here and they can supply the lovely oil factory. And then we can get lots and lots of lovely organic sunflower oil. However, there is a bit of a problem because as lots of people pointed out in the comments on the previous video, we have currently used up all of our sunflowers. We have no organic sunflowers at all. They're all gone, which is a little bit of an issue because as well as them being used in the oil factory to make lovely sunflower oil, they're also used to feed some of our animals. So we've kind of got a couple of problem areas there. So I think we need to sort that out. So that's going to take, that's going to take 85 days. That's too long. That is way too long. I mean, when they actually are grown and harvested, we're going to have an awful lot. There'll be a lot of sunflowers. It'll be absolutely fine. We will have much in the way of organic sunflowers, but that is a long time. How's the little field? That's, oh, that's even longer. That's 90 days. So actually, in about, what, 100 days, we're going to have so many organic sunflowers, it's going to be a bit silly. I mean, everything will be fine in about 100 days' time. But I think what we might need to do to tide us over until the point that these fields are ready, we might need to just buy some organic sunflowers in, which I know is not ideal, because we're a farm and we can grow our own things. But, you know, it takes time. It takes time to grow these things. So I think what we'll do is we'll just set up an auto trade thing to buy up to a certain point. And then when it dips below that point, we'll just kind of you know, keep it topped up and such like. And then eventually when these actually are harvested, the auto buy thing won't kick in because we'll have so many sunflowers that that just won't trigger. So I think that's what we need to do. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. But you know, it, I think we've got to do it because otherwise this thing is going to sit here doing nothing at all. And we're going to have hungry animals. And that's terrible. We don't want the animals to go hungry. So let's have a look. Actually, how much are they? How much are they? Sunflowers. Organic sunflowers. So if we were to buy, I don't know, a thousand of them, so let's buy a thousand of them, that's about, oh, they are quite expensive. They're quite expensive. But I think we have to do it. I don't think we have any choice. How many do these use? Yes, yeah, so that uses 500. It uses 500 kilograms, I assume, of organic sunflowers to make the bottles of the oil, which is quite a lot. That is an awful lot of sort of you know, raw resources there. Right, what we need to do then, I think... We go to here, we set up a trade thing, organic sunflowers, there, right there, that's quite handy. And I think we purchase until we have 2,000 of them. So that is going to be quite expensive, but I think that's what we have to do. So there we go, it's all in. So now this place is doing nothing at all. That cannot do anything. Okay, actually, no, that's, that's a bit of a lie. It's currently working through the stock that they did have. But then once this is done, that's it. Nothing else is going to happen over here unless we get that delivery in, which might happen. That might happen quite quickly. Uh, right, let's look down here. Can we get some people employed to go make us some lovely organic carrot juice? So have we got room in this house here? Yeah, there's only two. Oh, of course. There's only two workers in there. I mean, we don't need to rush with this, with these workers in here right now, because they'll have nothing to do. Okay, let's go to here. Let's pause time. Right, does anybody have any experience in manufacturing stuff? Okay. Harry does. Hello, Harry. How are you? Uh, oh, a beard. Have we seen anybody with a beard thus far? I don't know if we've seen anybody with a beard. Oh, there we go. Harry and his beard can come and work for us. And he's got endurance as well. That is very handy. So, okay, you can come in. And then Esme Rowe. You've, again, this is a bit confusing. You've kind of got the manufacturing skill, but you have no skill in manufacturing. I mean, okay, I wouldn't put that on your CV, but fine, okie doke, we'll hire you as well, it's all good. Because what we can do is, of course, we can just spend a little bit of money to just get you up to speed, which is absolutely fine. So manufacturing, there we go. 
Right, so you're all sorted. So you guys can go and work over there. So go to there and go to there. So now we have some people that are working in here that are able to, you know, go in and jab all the boats. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, there's stuff happening. There's stuff going along this kind of conveyor belt thing. Boxes of stuff, even though nobody's actually in the building yet and they're not doing anything. I don't know what this is. And where do they all go? How spacious is this building just here? <laughs> These boxes just keep pouring into this sort of TARDIS-style building here with its infinite capacity. Okay, but there we go. At least we have some people working in there that can use up some of our carrots, because we have got quite a lot of carrots. Although we have significantly less now. Hang on a minute. Why have we got so few carrots all of a sudden? Didn't we have 11,000 of them or something? Have they all just been... Is somebody grabbing them and putting them into here? Where are the people who are supposed to be working in the factory? Where are you all? Because nothing's happening. How many carrots have we got? There, look. There we go. I was looking up here, but no, it's down here. So, yeah, about four and a half thousand kilograms of organic carrots have gone into there. And even more carrots. Right, okay, hang on. We might need more carrots. How long until that grows? 41 days. We might need a big carrot field. We might need a slightly bigger carrot field. I mean, we do have all this room down here. We've got all this room down here. So maybe we'll just have ourselves some uh, some great big fields of carrots as well. I think we might want to get them in sooner rather than later. Um, lots of people in the comments saying we might want to get a whole new sort of bank of machines set up here. So all new machines set up along this road. So have you know, a combine and tractors and all the equipment and all that kind of stuff along here. Because otherwise, if we have a massive field here, and then we say, right, okay, work on this field. The workers have to go all the way across there to get some stuff and all the way back. And it takes ages. So I think, yeah, we might as well just get that set up over there. Do you know what? How quickly are they going through this stuff? How quickly are they flying through this? Look at the boxes. <laughs> just, just flying through. So many boxes. So much carrot juice. Okay, right, it's fine. Do you know what? I, I don't think I've ever had carrot juice. I mean, I like carrots. Carrots are nice. I don't know if I like liquid carrots. I don't know if I like the idea of this. I've never had it. Do you know what? I'd try it. I'd give it a go. I might as well try it and see if it's nice. But there we go. We have 200 units of lovely, lovely carrot juice. Can we see where it is? Um, oh, hang on. Where is it then? Uh, have they moved it out already? Yes, they have. Okay, that's pretty good. So now we've got, yeah, the 200. Hang on, pause time a second. Pause time. So now we can see what we've actually got in storage. So we're not selling something. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. We've got 11,000 organic cherries. Have we not set up autos selling things for the cherries? We added a cherry orchard in, didn't we? And they probably just gathered them. They're just sitting there. I mean, sure, they will have gone a bit mouldy by now. And yeah, actually, yes, I need to sort this. A few people in the comments have been saying, you've not set up the auto trade for the, um, for the honeys. The main honey is gone, the kind of whatever is the multi-flower, is it? But you're not auto-selling the buckwheat and you're not auto-selling the colza. And uh, yeah, you're absolutely right because, of course, these things are remaining behind. So what we need to do is we need to go to here. Have they not made that oil yet? I mean, I know there's only two of you, but come on. Come on, get on with it, please. Um, hang on. Can we hire some more people? Who is good at this? Manufacturing. Yes, please. We'll have you, Eva Powell. And then... You're good as well. Manufacturing and endurance. You're manufacturing in animals. I kind of feel like you're better at working with animals than working in a factory. It's fine. We'll have those two for now. So we'll get you up to speed and get to you at the bottom up to speed in terms of both your skills, because endurance is quite good as well. And one of you can work in there. And one of you... No, come out there. And one of you can work in there. No, that's the higher button. That's the wrong button. That's the button we want. Yay! Okay, so three people working now in each of those factories. So yeah, let's have a look. So what do we need to do? We need to set up auto trades for cherries. And yeah, we want to keep the pumpkins, don't we? Keep the pumpkins, because some of the animals eat those. So keep those. But yes, yeah, so it's the two honeys, cherries, and carrot juice. And then eventually the organic sunflower oil. Okay, I mean, let's do let's do the carrot juice and the sunflower oil first. So trade. So let's get carrot juice. So it's organic, lovely organic carrot juice and just sell above zero. We don't need to keep any of that. And then also we want to say sunflower and organic sunflower oil. Okay, sell above zero. Just get rid. Whatever we make of that, sell it, please. And then... There was the honey. 
So yeah, we've got, yes, the two different types of honey. So yeah, cell, that's the colza, isn't it, I think? Why is there no tooltip over there telling me what it is? I think that's the colza stuff. So cell above zero, and then in terms of the other honey, that's the buckwheat stuff, I think. So cell above zero for that. Right, and then can we just search just to make sure what we're doing? I've put hom, not hon. There we go. So we're selling. Yeah, look, well, this is the ordinary stuff. This is ordinary stuff now. But are they producing ordinary multiflower honey? Hang on a minute, which one's... That's the multiflower, isn't it? Just there. So we can take that out. We can take that out because that's never going to happen. But are they making the multiflower? Do you know what? Just just to be on the safe side. Hang on. Honey. Um, oh, no, no. We want to add. We want to add one of those. Hang on. Trade. Add. Honey. Um, oh, no. We don't get. OK, so there is not, it seems, organic multiflower honey. There's organic colza and organic buckwheat, but not organic multiflower honey. Okay, so the honey that we've got set up on the auto sell thing is that one, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, yep, that's all good. I'm all happy with that. Um, so it was those two, and then it was cherries, wasn't it? So we've got some organic cherries lying around the place, an awful lot of them, 11,000 of them, in fact. So sell those as well, please. I mean, we could be in, when that auto sell thing happens, for a bit of a bumper payday. 2.1 million right now, which is a silly amount of money anyway. But then what's that going to go up to when the auto sale thing happens? I don't know. Can we see how expensive those cherries are? Can we have a quick look? I'm just trying to keep my eye on that. Um, cherries. How much are organic cherries? If we were to say 11,000 of them, that's 135 grand. Okay. <laughs> that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of profit that we just had sort of sitting about doing entirely nothing at all. Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. And there you go. We can see the um, the sunflowers coming in. And we now have two and a half grand. <laughs> hooray, hooray for the monies. Right, more carrot juice. Nice. And more of the sunflower oil. But yeah, this, this is going to absolutely burn through the sunflower oil. That's going to go through that very, very quickly indeed. Okay, and carrots, they've still got about, what, another seven? No, they've got about 8,000 carrots in there. Maybe we don't need... Maybe we don't need another carrot field because there's 2,000 carrots in there right now and we're growing some more in 33 days. But I mean, are they going to run out over winter and stuff? I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I mean, we can always buy these things in again if we want to. And our training is done. So let's go and let's press the right button and then go and do some training. Hooray. Okay, anything else quick? Because we were looking at doing relatively sort of speedy things. Um, they're all 14 day ones. That seasonal worker's not so bothered. Slows the wear of machines. 20% cheaper workers. Increases the strength of employees by 20%. And then we've got all the kind of big things down here. How about we make the employees a little bit stronger? There you go. Five grand, 14 days. That should take not too long at all. Well, it'll take 14 days because we just told us that. Okay, fine. It's all good. They'll get it sorted. Okay, so just planning ahead a little bit. If we want this whole big bit of our farm over here to be lovely fields, lots of nice, lovely rolling agricultural land over here, I think maybe it might make sense to have a bit in the middle where we put our machines. So all the machines can go in the middle. We just have a great big section full of loads of garages and a mechanic and all that kind of stuff. And they can just park up in the middle. And then we can just have all the fields around that central point where all the farm equipment is. That would make sense. That would kind of make sense to me. The other thing is, where can that go? And how is it going to fit in with the rest of the fields? I'm not entirely sure. So how far do they reach? What if we were to put down... Hang on a minute. Let's look at uh, look at garages. So say, okay, a garage just there. If we were to put ourselves a garage, can we not Can we not zoom out anymore? Hang on. No, we can't zoom out anymore. This is the maximum zoom outness we can have. Okay, fine. Right, so if we have a garage and we put a garage sort of in the middle just there, it's going to cover quite a bit of that land over there. We don't need it to cover that bit over there, really. It kind of needs to go sort of there. That's where we need the buildings to go because then it covers all of that bit of land up there, which is nice. And then it covers this bit over here, and then it covers this bit down here. Unless we're going to buy into this tile as well, and then we just sort of put things in the middle. That's going to miss the corners out, and that's going to be somewhat unfortunate. Now, how about we just put it here? We'll just sort of put stuff there. We'll try and work around this with, with fields and field sizes and stuff. 
But that seems to be the perfect place for it. In fact, if we move it over the tiniest bit, yeah, like that. I think that is a pretty good place for it. So if we, oh, hang on, what about down in this corner though? How much of a field needs to be covered? It needs to be, oh, is it literally just any, as long as it touches the field in any remote part of its radius, it's fine. Oh, okay, then that's fine. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll put that down there then, I think possibly. We'll just drop that in and it'll all be fine. So yeah, do you want to put a garage down? 16 grand, do you know what? We've done it now. There we go, garage everybody. Okay, so let's try and get this middle bit sorted out, shall we? So let's get a garage in just here, and then we might want a number of garages, actually. So if we have ourselves, I mean, the garages aren't as big, but they do stop the wear and tear of your vehicles. But I think what we'll do is we'll have two garages, that's nice, and then we'll have a number of these things. So we'll have one there, and one there, and one going there like that. So that's fine. Then we need some power, but that's not an issue. We can absolutely sort that out. Also, is it worth having a bit of a two-way road going that way? So you know, vehicles don't have to wait. They don't have to wait on a single track road. They can go on a two-way road and make life a bit easier through the middle of the farm. That might be quite a nice idea. So we'll have that running across like that. There we go. So that should make that bit a little bit more efficient. And now, yet yeah, we just need some power. I know it's fine, right? So if we just put that there and run that to there, power is sorted. Hooray. I'm glad these you know, concrete bits of floor have got electricity. That comes in really useful. I think, I think it's for the, um, the barrier things. So that looks like a good amount of storage space for vehicles. I think that looks absolutely fine. So how about now we get ourselves in a mechanic? Where are you, mechanic? Are you in here? There we go. A mechanic. Splendid. You're like a, a vet, but for cars. So in you come, car vet. Um, you can go just there because then you can reach all of those different things. Yeah, absolutely. Pop over to just there. That's absolutely fine. We'll have a two-way road going in front of your house as well. And there we go. Right, so get these things all set up because this might take a little while to get all this done. And then we're going to need some worker houses over here. Because if we've got loads of fields over here, we might need workers who are good at, you know, driving the farm equipment and so on and so forth. Oh, there's no power over behind the mechanics place. <laughs> Hang on a second. Nope, that's the wrong button. Um, yeah, let's put... Oh, come on. It, it's next to it. It's absolutely fine. It's not fine. The game's being fussy. Okay, connect that up. And there you go. You've got power. You can switch your lights on, do all your mechanical stuff. It's all wonderful. Okay, so that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now, what fields do you want to get in? Because I think we need to sort of outline the fields. And I think maybe we just get this stuff set up. Although, is it worth doing any kind of field stuff now? Winter starts in 105 days. Perhaps this has been... Do you know what? They're all set up. It's funny. It's not like we're running out of money. It's not like we're short of a bit of money. So I was just thinking if we get the field set up, maybe we get the field set up, but we don't actually put anything in them until spring. Maybe that's what we could do. Because there is only 105 days until winter. So how about, yeah, we get a field set up. That's big. 50 grand. That's absolutely not a problem at all. And then we could get another field set up next to that one. So that's quite a big field. And then, do you want a road coming across and up like that? I think we'll do that. And let's have another two-way road coming down there and then filling in that little gap there. Okay, right, so we've now got quite a good sort of transport network around that bit there. And then we'll just have some smaller fields tucked into here because that uses the space up quite nicely. There we go. So planning ahead. I mean, we are demolishing quite a lot of trees. Away with your nature. More nature is coming, but of a different type. There we go. That's all very good. Ah, yes. Along here as well. Very important. We need lovely decorative items. Right. Uh, mechanic sort of uh, car, car wizard over there. What would you like? You would like, of course, some lovely, wonderful little sort of... Uh, Little boxes of flowers. Looks very pretty over there. And then we'll have kind of a round one, round yellow one there, round yellow one there. And let's mix it up a bit with a purple one in the middle there and just there. I know that's just crazy. And then at the end, just here, let's have one of the big fancy flower box things. Let's put one of those just there because they look nice. I like those. 
you know, why have one colour of flowers when you can have all of the colours of flowers? There we go. So that's been sort of prettified a little bit, which is nice. Now, are they going to run out and work on these fields? I don't imagine they are because we've not got anything sort of set for them to to actually you know, grow in these fields. So I imagine they will, they'll just leave them. I hope they'll leave them. And again, I don't know if there's any farm equipment within range that means they're going to go and do something anyway. So that can wait, I think. But at least we have that set up. At least it's now in and it's kind of, you know, all looking fine. And we'll see that when it comes to spring. Go, ah, yes, we need to grow some stuff. Let's get on that. This is a little bit concerning. All of our greenhouses have the not enough staff icon above them. Really? Where are all the staff? For example, you, Jackson Owen, whereabouts are you? You're... You're walking along. I don't know what's going on there. Why is there not enough staff? Okay, right. We might need another house with some more. Actually, is that house full? Are you full? Yes, unfortunately so. Um, we might need another house with just some more people that are good at plants to live there. That might be a good idea. Uh, hang on a minute. Social and house for permanent employees. I think it can fit into that gap there next to the manure storage. Again, part of the test. Um, yeah, okay, in we go. So we'll get that sorted and set up. Yeah, why are there not enough... Oh, orchards. They're going out into the orchards as well. Okay, this is fine. Now, yeah, quite a few people in the comments have said, you know what, your people that are grabbing all the stuff out of the orchards are not that good at doing that job. They don't have the orchard skill. They've got the plant skill. Why don't you get some seasonal workers in who are good at dealing with trees and such like... It is a very good point. The other thing is, I will forget. I'll just forget. There'll be a seasonal worker house. We'll hire them in the first time. We'll go, hooray, loads of seasonal workers. It's brilliant. And then the next year, I will absolutely and utterly forget about that. So um, maybe we could think about it. I mean, yo, I think that ship has sailed for this year. Maybe next year we could possibly have a look. If I remember, which the likelihood is that I probably won't. But never mind. Right. This house is here. Let us get then. Some people that are good at plants. I suppose we could get a mixture of plants and orchards, I suppose. I mean, your orchards and machines. Ezra Stevens could be very good. Yeah, you can come in, absolutely. Plants, yes. Plants, yes. Plants and endurance. Um, anyone good with trees? Uh, yeah, you too. You're very good. You're very cheap. Nia Newman, can we can we pay you a little bit more money? Can we pay you a tiny bit more money? Because you seem to be very, very cheap. Um, yeah, we'll have you for working with orchards. And you... Uh, animals and orchards, orchards and animals. I think that'll be fine. That's fine. Right, so let's just level these people up. There you go. On the job training, it's all fine. Oh, you're good at plants anyway. You didn't need training, sorry. Sorry for the slight upon your skill. Right, and then Mr. Webster, there you go. And endurance... And you down to here. Nia Newman. There you go. Become good at working with orchards. Splendid. Okay, so now we've got a mixture of people in there. So hopefully that will take the burden off of our staff over here. Because there's you know, an extra few people that can go and help out a little bit. It would be nice if we could get some more people that are good at working with plants. I don't think the list is refreshed quite yet, however. Which is a bit of a bother. They're over here, though. They're grabbing lots of lovely organic tomatoes from there. Okay, that'll be fine. That'll be good. They can they can go over there and do all that kind of stuff. Have we got some more people yet? Yes, it looks like we have. Uh, beekeeping and plants, beekeeping and plants. Ah, that's interesting. Bees. Now, we currently only have three beekeeper cottage things. Do we want some more of those? The only thing is... Hang on, how many beekeepers are there? There seems to be a lot of beekeepers coming up. Um, one, two, three, four... Five, six people that are good at beekeeping, but only, what, two people that are good at working with plants. <laughs> okay, fine, right you are. Um, how about then, how about we get some more beekeeper cottages set up? Because the bees are good. The bees are good. I love bees. Bees are brilliant. They're important. They save the world. They pollinate a bajillion things. They make sure that we can all eat loads of food and stuff. So bees are very, very important for the whole world generally. But I just like bees as well. We've all seen bee movie. Bees are brilliant. Um, how about then we get ourselves so animals, beekeeper building. Here we go. So can we get one of those? Do they fit in sideways along here? Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? That'd be good. So if we have that one there, and that could have sort of uh, the hives across that direction, possibly, 
What'll happen to that electricity pole thing? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? They just sort of budged it over a bit. That's fine. So if we get that in, the thing is, where are the workers going to live that uh, that live in the sorry work in the beekeeper cottages over here? I do not know. Do you know what? Let's get this done. I mean, they could work over here, I suppose. They could work over here, and then we could just have extra people working on, like, plants and stuff. It could just be some extra available workers. Okay, so if we go to here... Oh, and the training's finished as well. Right, hang on. Press the correct button. Yay, there we go. Got there in the end. Right, what was the other training that was 14 days? 20% cheaper workers. Strength of employees up by 30%. Uh, across 16 days, 10 grand. Yeah, do that. Why not? Let's make the workers as good as they can be. Right, and then just here, we want... No, that's an apiary. No, not an apiary. Um, yeah, we want some hives. So if we say one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, is that out of range? That might be out of range. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that's fine. So it's got 10 hives around it. Oh, the hives are all pointing in different directions. Do you know what? That's fine. That's how they know which hive belongs to which beekeeping cottage. The direction. The ones that are that way facing belong to this place. And the ones that are facing to left to right as we look at it belong to this building here. There we go. It's fine. That's why everything looks a bit of a mess. Um, yeah, we need to get a house in then for people. Can it... Oh, hang on. If we turn it round, I think yes beautiful. Do you know what? Yeah, go just there. That's a kind of bit of a weird space anyway. So we'll fit that in just there. Get some workers in who are good at bees. Right, hang on a second. Come on, do the roof dance. And there we go. Right. Higher. And people that are good at bees, please. Oh, I see. The list of people has refreshed. And now we've gone from six people good at bees to two people that are good at bees. Botherations. Okay, never mind. You can go into that house as can you. It's only two people. That's very disappointing. Okay, fine. Become better at looking after bees. And you can become much better at looking after bees because you were pretty rubbish at it. And you can become a little bit more enduring as well. Right, and then you can go... Oh, there's many people. Uh, we'll have Maya James working in that one, please. And then... Oh, no. Is that new person just going to wander off? Are they going to wander off? That is unfortunate. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, also, hang on. Just there in the beekeeper cottage. We don't want to make... Uh, can we tell them not to make that stuff? We don't want to make the non-bio stuff. I think... I don't think we can order the bees to make certain types of honey. I think we just get what we're given by the lovely bees. Okay, that's all fine. Right, and then let's see what we can do with the rest of these. So if we get ourselves one set up there and then one set up there, let's see what's going to happen with that. And then over here in this house, three more people that we can hire. Is anybody good at plants? Beekeeping. Hang on. Has the list refreshed again? Oh my goodness me. It has. Okay. I know there's loads of people that are good at beekeeping. <laughs> Game, what are you doing to me? Um, right, beekeeping and plants. You can be good at dealing with plants, please. There you go. Look after the things that grow out of the ground. And then, can we have another orchard person? Yeah, Lois Morris. Is anybody good at orchards and anything else? Unfortunately not. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. You can be the orchard specialist. When it comes around to orchard time, you're going to be very, very popular. Okay, right, get these done. So these two buildings go in. Lots of lovely bees coming in. Lots of lovely honey. It's all wonderful. Okay. Right. So we should have one person that can go and work in there right now. But no, they've wandered off to do something else. <laughs> we employed them too early. Um, yeah, you are. Are you the one assigned to the bee thing? Yeah. So it's the other one. It's Jasmine Reynolds. You're going to warehouse one. Who knows what it is you're going to do? I don't know. Botherations. Okay, do you know what? We'll get one more person in that's good at working with bees. Um, Aria Reed, or Aria Red, possibly. Yep, yeah, that'll do. You can come in. Uh, in you come, get skilled up. You can have this one just, da, 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 just there. And uh, yeah, we need some beehives as well, don't we? So hang on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. 
Okay. <laughs> I foresee a problem here with this. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's fine. That one's not going to have room unless they can put them across the road. If they can put them across the road, we might be absolutely fine. We'll see. We'll see. It, I'm sure it'll all just muddle through and everything will be absolutely lovely. Yes, Jasmine here, who we did employ for her skills of beekeeping, has decided to go and work on the gooseberry fields, which is a bit of an issue. And again, yeah, we can't do anything with her now. We can't do anything with her. We can't now assign her to there until I think she's finished working on this job. When she's finished doing this, it'll all be fine. It'll all be good. She's going to a big greenhouse. Yeah, she's working on the gooseberries. Right, she is coming back home. She's coming back home. So as soon as it says she's home, there we go. Right, she's resting. Can we now assign her to that particular place? Uh, oh, there's a lot of people. Jasmine Reynolds. Yes. Okay, right. We caught her in time. Now the big question is, is she going to have anything to do? Can she have some bees? So she can have one, two, three, four, five. She can have six bees. Seven, eight, nine. 10. We can have them across the road. Okay, right. That That's quite good. That's quite convenient. That is most handy indeed. Well, there we go. And autumn has come. Harvest time for most crops and the last moments to work in the fields before the frost sets in. How are things looking over here? We've got ourselves 13 days until the carrots and we've got 59 days for those sunflowers, 53 days for those. So the sunflower field's still a little way off. Nobody's done anything over here yet, which is good. I mean, maybe we built these a bit too early because we are paying maintenance on these. 24 a month, 39 a month, 39 a month. Do you know what? It's fine. We've got 3.2 million farm manager monies. I think we can afford to spend 39 a month on this big slab of concrete on the floor. I don't know what exactly we're maintaining. <laughs> Why does it cost 39 a month to maintain it? What do we do? Just go and polish it or something. Go and sweep the leaves off, I guess. But whatever the case, there we go. It's fine. I mean, yeah, okay. It's a tiny, tiny bit of a waste of money. But in this grand scheme of things, it's fine. We can afford it. I don't think we've got auto selling things set up for our fruit that's coming from the orchards. Because as you can see just here, we've got three and a half thousand kilograms of plums, 7,700 kilograms of apricots. We've got 14 and a half thousand kilograms of apples. And then in terms of pears, we've almost got 20,000 kilograms of pears. That's quite a lot. That's an awful lot of fruit. That is one massive fruit salad we could make out of these. How about we set up some auto trading things for those? Because yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep these for no good reason. So we might as well sell those. Let's have a quick look actually. How much would we make? 118 grand. Hang on, what if we just clicked all of those? What would we make? Almost 800 grand. Yep, yeah, there we go. That is wonderful to see. The uh, the good old orchards are actually sort of yeah paying their dues finally. Um, yeah, let's set up the auto trade for those. So plums, yep, so just sell above zero, don't need to keep those. And the pears are the big one, aren't they? They make an awful lot of money. So organic pears, sell all of those please. And then organic apples, just there, sell above zero. And what was the other one? What was the other one? Apricots, that was it. Organic apricots, yes, sell above zero please. So we should see even more money coming in momentarily. That's a bit silly, isn't it? And they're only from relatively small orchards. We could get some of the bigger orchards set up. We could get that done. Do you know what? We could do that now. We could do that now because obviously the orchards can just get planted and then we can just get the fruit from them next year. Why don't we make a great big orchard? That sounds exciting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, shall we? Let's just make a massive orchard. I mean, we have got that road coming across there, which is a bit pointless, actually. How big could we make an orchard? Just there. So create that field. The only thing is, is it going to be within range of all of the things? So hang on a minute. Click that. Is it within range? Oh, absolutely. It's yeah, it's completely within range. It's within range of all of the things. Okay, no, that's fine. How about we have two? Let's have two massive orchards. So one just there. And we will have a road going through the middle, actually. And then one just there. Oh, that is, this is, this is going to be, this is going to be splendid. Right, okay, get that in. Get a road going around the edge, like so. Just because it makes it a little bit easier to get the sort of, you know, the farm equipment driven round and such like. So that's fine. And then, what do we want? What kind of fruit do we want? I mean, what is, 
What is, hang on, we have to go onto the buy screen. Don't, what is selling the best? I imagine it's pears. Pears always seem to sell quite nicely. Hang on, so organic apples. Yeah, a bit less. Plums sell for, plums sell for an awful lot more, but you get less of them. So yes, per kilogram, they are way more profitable, but yeah, you don't know what your, you don't know what the yield's going to be. Um, hang on, I think we can actually check, can't we? Hang on, we can see here, right, click bio. So apples, that field would make a, a million, <laughs> a million farm manager monies. That's just all sorts of daft, isn't it? Okay, that would make a lot of money. Apricots, 1.2 million. Right, okay. This is all a bit silly. Um, what else? So apricots are looking pretty good. Um, what else? Plums, just over a million, because you get less of them, but they're worth a lot more in terms of your individual kind of uh, entity. Uh, what else? What else was there? Um, oh, I feel like I've gone past... I feel like I've gone past all the good stuff. Raspberries. See, raspberries don't make that much anymore. I mean, they're still obviously very good, but, you know, compared to, say, the orchards... They um they make a lot less. I suppose though, yeah, the growth time is shorter, of course. So really, raspberries would make quite a lot because they grow every ninety five days, whereas the plums grow every three hundred days. Pears, that's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, one point one million. Why don't we have apples and pears? That's a nice combo. Pears and apples. Or oh, the apricots do make more money. The apricots do make a bit more money right now. But apples and pears, they're good, good standard fruits, apples and pears. Plus, we can, you know, got about cottony rhyming slang. Oh, apples and pears, knees at Mother Brown, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, right, we'll have apples just there. And we'll have organic, yep, there we go, organic pears in here, please. That's going to be quite nice. There we go. So we can go up the old apples and pears. It's all going to be wonderful. Right, can they get that sorted in time? Right, that is complaining because we haven't got one of the plows. Okay, we can probably get that sorted, actually. If we go to there and click on where it says what we're lacking. Hang on. Are we lacking it? Because it normally comes up in red. I think it might just be in use. I think it might just be in use somewhere. Um, I mean, have we got room in there? I don't know if we've got room in that particular parking space. Or there. Or there. Or there. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What if we were to buy uh, a lily plow? I always read it as lil, like a little plow. Um, what if we were to buy one of those? Not in any of the new places. Um, parking three or parking. Yeah. Does it take up one slot? It's two. Botherations. Okay. <laughs> um, right. What we could do is we could put another one of the buildings over there. We could put another uh, another garage over there. Or we could tuck one here. I suppose we could have more orchards going that way, though, couldn't we? We could have many, many orchards going that way. Um, how about we put a garage somewhere around here? Can we fit one there? Oh, that would be that would be perfect. Please tell me we can fit one there. Uh, garage. We can't fit one there, can we? No, no way. No, the little house gets in the way by one square, I believe. Uh, we might have to put it over here. It's fine. It's on the other side of the road. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Uh, okay, in goes a garage. Let's see how that goes. And then we can put the plough into there. So much stuff is being produced on the farm. It's all very, very silly indeed. Oh, out goes the maintenance. Even though the maintenance has gone out and the wages, I think we're still left with 4.1 million farm manager monies. So it's all looking very good. Right, okay. Plough, buy that please and put into... Garage number six, please. So yeah, pop that into there. There you go. You've got the plow sorted. Ah, they couldn't get the um, this field sorted with the plow because that's got the plow. And what we'll do is we'll buy, we'll buy another tractor. Let's get another tractor sorted as well, shall we? Um, yeah, we could. Could we get one of the bigger plows? Hang on. Work width is four. Work width. Oh, work width is four. What is what is the point? I don't know what what's the point of having this if it just does exactly the same. I mean, I love the fact that it's in a nice shade of blue. That's very lovely, but why why would you want to buy that one at almost four times the cost of that one when it seems to do the same job in the same way? I don't know. I suppose that one is attached to this one here is attached to the fancy tractor. And that goes a bit quicker because it's got more power, possibly. Right, hang on. Vehicles. Get an Etos tractor. 
put it into, uh, where was it? Which garage was it? Garage six, that's it. So pop that, let's put it the right way round. There we go. So a lovely Etos tractor, that is all very good. And then anything else? Is there anything else that you're lacking? Are these fields going to be ready? Hang on, how, how far away is winter? 81 days. We might be okay. And training is done, training is done. I've pressed the right button, hooray. Um, okay, let's have a little look. So yeah, there's a couple of 14 day things again. 20% cheaper workers, slows the wear of machines. Well, we're now buying a few extra machines. So let's have that. Let's have maintenance of machines number three. Let's learn how to go and hit machines with a big hammer and hope that just you know, makes them work better. That is what we like to see. Both of the gigantic orchard fields are now being worked on. They've got a tractor apiece and they've got the sort of little plow thingamajigs on the back and they're both very busily working away. Okay, this is good. I think they'll get done. I think they will be in by the time winter rolls around. 76 days. I mean, we're going to be cutting it fine possibly with that one. By the time they've gone through all the bits and bobs they need to do. Because they need to do this. Hang on. This is a better example. So they'll do the ploughing. Then they'll do the cultivating. Then they need to do the manure spreading. And then they need to actually put the seeds into the ground. So there are kind of four stages. And then they need to spray them as well. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be done in time. There we go. Though. Look, they've got the blue tractor now. A change of tractor. They've got the, uh, the lovely blue tractor to do the cultivating. And I think, yeah, that has a bit more power. So it can go a little bit quicker, which is quite nice. So there you go. You pootle about in that one. And then, yeah, somebody come over and work on this one. That would be great. There's a tractor driving around. And what have they got? Uh, they have got... Oh, no, they've, they've got the combine. We're getting the um, the buckwheat. We've got the buckwheat from the field. Okay, now that's fine. It's a little bit limiting for the bees there, unfortunately. But not to worry. Never mind, never mind. Right, how is it going over here? There is not... What are they after? An ester cultivator. Ah, I've only got one cultivator within range. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Do you know what? We're going to need another garage. Let's put another garage in. It's nice and, yeah, it's covered. The machines don't fall apart quite as easily. And into here, let us buy a cultivator. Is there only one or are there two types? Ester cultivator and rhodon cultivator. Okay, hang on a minute. Work with four... Work with eight. That thing sounds better. However, it is two by three in size. Oh, it's huge. It's a massive great big thing. Okay, yeah, we can't actually get that in right now. Hang on a second. A garage is being constructed. Please hold the line, caller. There we go. The roof dance is done. And down come the sides. Right, okay, just here. Buy a, whatever one of those big things was. A, yeah, a Rodon cultivator. Yes, we'll have one of those, please. They're relatively cheap. Uh, no, hang on. Put it in the garage that we just specified. Is it garage seven? Yes. Uh, it takes up the whole thing. It takes up the entire garage. Okay, yeah, we'll just slot that gigantic piece of farm equipment into there then. <laughs> That's huge. That's a huge big thing. Okay, but it still needs an ester cultivator. Why does it need one of those? Oh, because it can only go on the blue tractor, I think. Um, can we buy another blue tractor? I think we can afford to buy another blue tractor. Yay for the Etos tractors. Right, hang on a minute. Buy another Etos tractor. Because now we can. We can afford all these lovely things. Because we've got lots and lots of splendid money. Hang on, wasn't it? Garage. Oh, crikey. That, that's enough to make you feel slightly ill, isn't it? Um, yeah, to put that into... Put that there. There we go. So now you've got those tractors. So you don't need you don't need the ester cultivator. Use the use the big cultivator thing. Use the the Rodon cultivator. I don't know why it needs the little one. I'm sure they'll sort it out. Maybe when that's done, they'll come back over here or something. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, this is almost done anyway. So there you go. One last bit down the sides. Oh, um, I think. I think we just got a load of carrots. I think we just got a massive load of carrots. Training is finished. Oh my goodness me. We're absolutely flying through that stuff. Um, okay. 20% cheaper workers. Yeah, why not? Get that done. How long until winter? 64 days. Loads of time. So there you go. So the carrot field has now been dealt with. Oh, they used the great big cultivator thing on the carrot field. Not on this field here, which I thought they were going to. 
Okay, that's fine. Can we use it on this field now? That would be good, because then you could do it a lot quicker. No, just, just not going to bother. Hey, somebody's coming over at long last. Cultivation is in progress. Etos Tractor 3, Rodon Cultivator 1. And this is going to be done a lot quicker, because that cultivator thing is massive. It is huge. And why it's not cultivating now, I don't know. You've not switched it on. But yeah, look, it does twice the amount of cultivating, which is good. Okay, good. That will be done in no time at all. Right, carrots. We've got no organic carrots already. Hang on a second. Hang on. How many did we just load into this building? 4,000 of them. We might need some more carrots. Possibly need some more carrots. I mean, that could be a thing that we grow. That could be. We could have a massive field of organic carrots, which would be wonderful. But I think... I don't know. We're not going to get more out of here, are we? That's been fertilised. No. They're not going to grow within 58 days or less, are they? How long till those? 26? 21 days for the sunflowers. Okay, this is good. I like the fact that we've got proper sort of fields now. I like this. I like the fields. Because yeah, when I think of a farm, in, in my head, a farm is cows and sheep and pigs, and then it's fields. It's fields with tractors and combine harvesters that drive around late into the night and do all the combine harvesting and such like. Uh, where I grew up... Uh, in my mum and dad's house, we uh, backed onto a farm. So there was the back garden, and then it was just a farm. There was a beautiful view of a farm. We could see the farmhouse in the distance. And then, yeah, many were the nights when I remember looking out the window, you could see the combine harvester driving around the place, doing all the stuff, loading the stuff into the trailers. So, um, so yeah, that's what I think of with the farm. So I, I love the animals. The animals are brilliant. The fish farms are wonderful. The factories are splendid. But I like the fact that we've actually got proper sort of fields in now. It feels a bit more farmy, if you like, particularly this bit down here. And this bit here, when it actually is sorted out, it's going to be wonderful. And the next lot of training is done. We're absolutely flying through this stuff. Right, how long left? There is, there's 50 days. So we could do something that is 30 days and then another 14 days, if there is such a thing. But I don't know. Uh, reduces the price of buildings by 30%. That's 30 days. Storage capacity, not so bothered about that. In fact, actually, hang on. There I am saying I'm not that bothered. Do we actually need to care about storage capacity? Um, what have we got? 10,093 out of 90... No, hang on. 192,000. No, we don't need to worry about storage capacity. We have much much space. <laughs> got loads of room in the warehouses. It's absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that at all. So not that then. So not the storage. The rate of production will do over winter. So that's fine. Um, that's seasonal workers. We haven't got any of those. That's 60 days. That's too long. So it might be one of these down here then. So reduces the probability of weed infestation, insect infestation, or fungi infestation. Um, I don't know. Take your pick. What should we go for? Mushrooms, insects, or weeds? Uh, let's get rid of weeds. Let's try and lessen the effect of weeds, shall we? Five grand, 30 days. There we go. Given that we're getting fields in, we might as well get some of the sort of uh, training stuff that is linked to field maintenance. I've just realised there's no decorative items around this part of the world. This is terrible stuff. Right, hang on a minute. I have some lovely sort of window box type things. There you go. Three of those. That looks very pretty. Um, we'll put ourselves one of the big kind of flower box things over there because that's nice. Um, I don't know if we want to put one on that corner. Hang on, we could put one there because I think that's part of that building's sort of, you know, template, floor template. There we go, that's fine. And then we'll have a nice sort of pink sort of uh, box of flowers there. That's all very lovely. And then along here, let's have, let's have yellow ones. Why not? So yellow one, yellow one, yellow one, yellow, yellow. And then anything on this corner? A yellow one on the corner as well. There we go, that's nice. Is there anything down here? There's nothing in front of the barn. I kind of feel like we've missed this place. That's sorry, barn. I do apologise. Right, lovely box of flower things there. And then, along here, let's have... What about these? Nice box of flowers on a raised sort of load of leg type things. If I take that round, we'll just put some of them along there. Just dot them along there. So anybody coming along this road can look at them and think, Oh, that is nice. I feel so much happier. Hooray for my life and such like. There we go. Good. We've made the place even prettier. Um, what are we being nagged at? Not enough... Organic carrots. Oh. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Is, th is that actually a problem? We've only got... Ah, yeah. They're going through these quite quickly. Yeah, they're very efficient in there. They're super efficient in there. Okay, right. Hang on a second. <laughs> Organic 
carrots. We might need to buy a few of those. Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. It's not zoomed in on that. Right, carrots. Organic carrots. Buy in until you've got 2,000 of them. And again, this is only a temporary sort of measure. It's fine. We'll, um, we'll sort that out. When we actually get the things in, we have a big field of carrots. It'll all be fine. And I think the sunflowers are ready. They are. The sunflowers are ready. And there's people, they're, they're harvesting them. They're going to come along. I mean, it's it's a miserable day in November. It's it's what? It's relatively wet. It's cold. It's grey. It looks dark. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's a town. Hello, town. I hope you're enjoying the nice food we're selling to you. Um, but yeah, here we go. So this is going to generate an awful lot of sunflowers. Oh my goodness me. How many sunflowers are we going to get out of this? That's another 100, 143, 131, 36. Bit rubbish on that bit. Uh, 167. There's going to be so many. <laughs> There's going to be a completely ludicrous amount of sunflowers once this is done. Okay. No, I'm happy with that. That's all good. Um, these are fertilized, but they've not actually put the things in. I wonder if... I wonder if they're going to leave that until next year now. I do not know. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I like how the um, the thing here, the Combine Harvester, is going around doing all the work, gathering all the stuff, being very efficient. This tractor here is just parked across the, the middle of the road <laughs> with, with the trailer sticking through a garage door. I mean, are you going to pay for that? That will have scratched the garage door. You've scratched the trailer. You've caused damage. Probably got flat now. Oh, and there you go. You've parked right in front of where the combine harvester needs to go as well, which is a bit unfortunate. But here we go. We're going to see, eventually, how much stuff comes out of this field. And I'm expecting it to be an awful lot of stuff. So there we go. So, last trip. Then you're going to drive along here, and then you're going to empty it out into there, and they're going to take it to the nearest storage thing, which is... I don't know where it is, but they won't take long to get there. Right, so some slight weirdness going on. Right, here we go. How much stuff is there? Drive it along and drive it round. How many sunflower seeds have we now got? Almost 19,000 kilograms of them. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, that's really good. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we're going to get more. We're going to get more because this field is ready as well. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're good for sunflowers for a good long while, I think. And I think the next lot of sunflowers is being dropped off. And how many do we now have if they put them into storage? So up to 18,000. But I think the um, the factory over here has borrowed a few of those. They've taken 2,000 of those away. So yeah, oh, now it's gone up to 7,000. So they've got 7,000 in storage in the sunflower oil fa right now. And there's still about 18,000 kilograms in storage. Yeah, okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, sunflowers are looking very, very good indeed. Right, training is done training is done. Hang on. Hang on. How long is left until winter? 18 days. So how about then we get that final one that was 14 days? Was there a 14 days? No. No, there was not. We could do a 30 days. We could do a 30 days and then just skip the, you know, just delay the skipping of winter for a little while. Why don't we do that? What's going to be good? Um, why don't we just get this? Increase the storage capacity. We could just do that. All oh, buildings cheaper. Uh, let's go for... Do you know what? If we get buildings cheaper, that finishes off this block of... This sort of training block just here. Let's get that done. It's not that expensive. 30 days. It's all going to be fine. Okay. So the farm is looking wonderful. This is looking very good. And they're already back on the field sorting them out. Do you know what? If you're doing that, why don't we outline one of these fields now as an organic carrots field... And you can get that sorted. That will give us, what, one, no, no, 13,259 kilograms of carrots, which seems like quite a lot to me. So if you get that sorted, they might not plant the carrots, but at least the soil will be sorted for when spring rolls round. Because I don't know if they need to redo it after winter or not. I'm not entirely sure. But do you know what? That's absolutely fine. You can get that sorted. Um, oh, they're going to complain. There might not be a vehicle within range. Really? I thought it might have reached ever so slightly over the corner of there. There we go, look. Yeah, somebody is on the way. Robin's on the way with a Riga tractor and a, a little plough. But that's fine. That's okay. Any plough will do the job as long as it's done. So many resources coming through. We've got 7.2 million of your farm manager monies. Okay, what I think we'll do is, I think we will finish up for now because things are looking pretty good. Things are looking very, very good right now. I'm very happy with our whole new sort of you know, farming bit set up over here with fields. I think it just feels proper. It feels a little bit more, more sort of classically farmy, if you like. But, uh, but yeah, I'm happy with all that stuff. The money is coming in 
just absolutely ludicrously. So much money coming in. Loads of sunflowers. Carrots, yeah, little bit, little bit sort of, a uh, little bit unprepared for the amount of carrots we're using over in the carrot juice fa, but that's fine. And we still didn't come over here and sort out any further sort of uh, dairy stuff for all of the cow milk that we're producing. Right, must make a note, do that next time. Got a bit distracted with great big orchards and fields and everything else. So yeah, we'll do that next time as well. But, uh, but yeah, we'll finish up for now, come back next time and just see how we get on. We'll just see what happens next time. We'll have some training to do. We'll skip through winter. We'll get these things set up, buy a load of machines and it shall all be very wonderful, I am sure. But yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> My God, it's Pengu. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to put the engine bit. I feel that might be a problem in making a car. I've broken the windscreen. It's, en it's ending badly. It's ending very badly indeed. I might crash into a tree. How do I do any of the stuff with this car?